one thing that I feel blessed that I figured out on from a very early stage was how important sales copy is in everything you do. Um, I think it started with me verbally um, because I was when I was even when I was still a player, I tried network marketing, so I, it was hand to hand combat, hotel presentations, all the crazy stuff. But that taught me a lot about no matter what form you're communicating to a, a lead, a client, a customer there still has to be an element of sales uh, scripted. We'll say script, we'll use that for a very loose term, very loose term. And when I look at these other player sites, it's, it's a novel, it's a book, it's a look how special my program is and my mission statement. And don't get me wrong, those things matter. I don't want to downplay those things, but they don't matter to someone who has a seven second attention span because they say the average human does. And who is really on that site as fast as they can be because they're at work, they're somewhere else, and they just need to get their baby basketball training. And they need someone they can trust, and then they need to know that it's local and affordable, whatever, right? And nobody's selling writing a novel because nobody's reading the novel. Mm -hmm. And so my my whole, I guess you could say, spiel or soapbox pitch, because I kind of just went in. I was very blunt, but uh, was that like – that part of the website sucks, you know, like, like I, and, and I don't want to, you know, give you just the whole podcast on, on a, a IG live, but basically, you know, I talked about how just as like a car dealership, you go, the first thing they say to you is besides high is scripted. They know exactly what they're saying and they're already taking you through the process of solving your problems verbally so that you commit to what they have as a service or product. And so they can lead up to the actual execution of the problem, right? Because you got to talk through a problem before you execute a problem. <laughs> so I think a lot of trainers are struggling there, first and foremost, and just understanding how to lead someone through that process. You know what I mean? That's why I love what you guys at Playbook and, you know, there's the system behind it as well. But you guys are also doing a good job of helping uh, trainers with that. You know, I know you guys got the service now where you build the website for them, has some copy in their form or whatever. I think that's great because as much as you may or may not like sales, whoever's watching this, you're not existing without sales. You're, you don't have a business without sales. So you better get good at selling. And a lot of that's communication and terminology you're going to use to, again, help someone understand that you can solve their problem and then actually solve their problem and then retain them. That's all sales. All three of those steps are a process of sales. 